It's freezing! Quickly, quickly set up the train and board passengers here at Glasgow Queen Street before your 903 departure. Press F7, F8 to change the destination to Annie's Land. So press T to release the doors. The array is already off because. I don't know. Insert the metric reverser to neutral. Reset the AWS. Set the headlights to day. Put it back to Annie's Land. It's Perth, North Barrick, New Craig Hall, Market, Lindsay, Copaldi, Inverness. And the key thing goes to Queen Street, Queen Street, Golden Roads, Glasgow, Falkirk, Edinburgh, Dice, Dundee, Dunblane, Dunbar, Cumbernauld, Cornby, Colonel Street, Cargill, and Anisland. Yeah, we're also in 170-471 in the ScotRail Salter delivery. Yeah, so with the train set up, we just need to wait for the doors to close. Next stop is Ashfield at 9.08. So departing Glasgow Queen Street, the speed limit is 15 miles an hour and we have about 2 miles to Ashfield. Ooh, green light. So after leaving the approach to Queen Street through the tunnel, currently climbing on 1246 as we leave <coughs> sorry, as we leave Queen Street. So this scenario is called 2 Whiskey 61903 Glasgow Queen Street to Ennisland. So the briefing is Scott Rail operate a twice hourly service between Glasgow Queen Street and Ennisland via Maryhill using Sprinter and Tupperstar units. You are in charge of the 903 departure out of Queen Street to Ennisland, calling at all stations. Your attraction for this morning is a 170 unit. So calling out to Clerical Queen Street, Ashfield, Puzzle Park and Parkhouse, Gill, Shushill, how you pronounce it, Summerston, Maryhill, Calverdale and Anisland. So Anisland is about four miles away. I think the total distance for this I think the total distance for this service is about five miles. So yeah, this must be one of Scott Rail's shortest services. It barely goes anywhere. I thought I just I should have also slowed down to fifteen. So line to the right, line to the right is Edinburgh via um, Falkirk, and also Web Sterling and up that way to where like I think it's Dundee. And also on the right is Eastfield Depot, which I thought that was stuff. I don't think I've actually released this anywhere. I think I've not put it up in ATS. So yeah, actually, it should be right around the corner. Oh, yeah, the thing about this route is that the stations are literally so close together. It's like the um, TFL or the underground. So in Ashfield, aiming to stop at the end of the platform.
Next stop is Bottle Parker Park House at 9.11. Oh shit, I didn't realize we're so close together. <laughs> oh, fuck this station. Look, like, why are those two stations literally so close together? Just why? Okay, next up is Gil Show Chill at 9.13. So yeah, um, recently I filled out a national student survey for university and I just so happened to have won a 50 quid Amazon voucher which I spent on a new keyboard. A new keyboard which just so happens to be faulty. So what's wrong with it is that most keys don't actually work, like spacebar, you press spacebar and nothing happens. So I just reverted back to, re reverted back to my old keyboard. So the new keyboard that I ordered, I think it's a Logitech G213. It's the one with the like, it's one with the RGB keys where you can change the, where you can change the colors of the lights. It's a nice keyboard. Just wish the keys actually worked. Okay, so actually stopping at this one. Next stop is Somerset at 9.15. Okay, so next station is Summerson, which is literally coming up right now. Like, why are these stations so close together? How can they still stay open? Surely, one, some of our, surely some of them have to close. Because how is it economical to have two stations really close to each other? Okay, next stop is Murray Hill at 917. Okay, so next stop is Murray Hill, which is literally right around the corner. 
Yeah, well, kind of what you getting a lot of wheel slip if I could actually enunciate. So I'm gonna go to 30 and then just idle. So which, which one did I miss? Uh, Post back and park house. Yeah, when doing uh, like pull away shots, you yeah, don't put it to like max thrust, max uh, power. Otherwise, you miss it. Yeah, this river has a lot of Kuju assets. Probably because it was originally freeware, then made payware, but the assets weren't replaced. Because dovetail. Next stop is Calvindale at 919. get a tad bit of wheel slip. So yeah, next is Calvindale in like half a mile. Yeah, when 70s they definitely weren't designed for like this kind of service. They were designed, they were designed for like long distance, a few stop trains. Because if, if you wanted like a diesel multiple unit that could, that could do like really frequent stops, you would use like a pacer because pacers they are very quick off the mark but then kind of uh, level off as it gets to 75. Maybe 158. 158 is generally quick off the mark because they're like express sprinters. Yeah, I really, I should really do more scenarios on Super in Glasgow. I think I've done like five. Okay, next up is Annie's Land, arriving at nine twenty-two. So Ennis Island is our next and final stop in like half a mile. So in recent TS news, Ultra Powerhouse have announced an enhancement pack for the class 325, which is amazing. I wonder how long to release, hopefully not too long. I know Alan is like really excited because I can't think of another adjective <laughs> I think it's an adjective is that my signal? I don't think so also uh, Dovetail have announced the cross city route for a train sim 2021 of course, it was already kind of leaked earlier through the Steam achievements. But yeah, it comes with a class 323, 350, 1, 2, and 3. I don't know why it comes with. I don't know why it comes with 3. I don't know why it comes with 350s. They seem kind of redundant. So, this is the end of the video. So, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this fairly short trip. Uh, subscribe for more channels and content. Like the video if you are so inclined. Follow me on Twitch for live streams about talking to you about trains. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.